And I think the time has come to bring to bear the power of the direct action, the nonviolent direct action movement on the basic economic conditions that we face all over the country. In my view, uh, uh, Dr. King, like so many um, prophetic voices, uh, he saw the need for justice much broader than an individual need. He's, he's one, I believe, who demonstrated and modeled the care for neighbor. So his advocacy was around, I believe, centered and around this idea that there is enough for all of us. On this day of the birthday of Martin Luther King, we remember his legacy and we call upon the state of California and its legislators to pass universal basic income to help people from grinding poverty to invest in them to get out of their conditions. I believe that the moral and the spiritual aspect of life in general uh, was the driving force for everything that Martin espoused and that he taught and preached. Uh, and, and I believe that's sort of the, the North Star, the North Star. Dr. Martin Luther King came to understand that economic equity had to be central to the work of liberation. Dr. Martin Luther King taught us many things. The first thing he taught us was that our spirituality was a potent force in the ongoing struggle to bring about social change. That promise of economic justice means to me that my children and grandchildren will have more equitable future and a fair opportunity to succeed. I think we get to live into Dr. Martin Luther King's promise of working with all of God's children for a better future. And so in the richest state, in the richest country, in the history of the world, with so much inequality, this is a necessary step to reduce poverty. From Judaism's earliest beginnings, dating all the way back to the Torah, our people and tradition understood that justice cannot happen without economic justice. And I am honored to speak on his behalf. It is a tradition that affirms the connection between faith and political action and activism on behalf of those who are oppressed. And in the 20th century, Dr. King in love and in wisdom really reminded us to reach into the most human parts of ourselves so that we could join together to fight inequity as one people. I, I absolutely feel that Pico, California is reimagining and rediscovering that moral and spiritual grounding that was the leader, the lead for uh, the guide for uh, Dr. King's whole life. I guess I should begin with what we have in store for the spring. <laughs> I feel that we are in the midst of the most critical period in our nation, and the economic problem is probably the most serious uh, problem confronting poor people generally.